This is a channeled message for all star seeds. I am receiving this message through the Taurus full moon lunar eclipse portal in 2022, but this is absolutely a timeless message for whenever you receive it. And this message is about up leveling your process of creation up leveling your process of creation on multiple levels on multiple levels the most grounded human way to understand this process of creation is through your creative projects your art and your craft whatever it is that you like or would like to create in the physical in terms of writing music dance cooking fashion, home design, anything it is that you enjoy creating in the physical. And you may have noticed, many of you may have noticed that you have been, been frustrated, frustrated with your creative process or sometimes entirely thwarted to the point where at some point in your life you have forgotten that you are a creator and you have given up on your art or your craft or your dreams because it was just too hard and too frustrating because your your vision what what you could see inside your mind in your inner vision it, it was almost impossible to translate that into the physical reality A writer would perhaps see characters and a story in their mind and be able to live fully in their world and then when they try to write it on the page, completely falling flat. And the, the writer ends up feeling completely incapable of translating their vision to the page. Same thing with musicians. They can hear the music inside their heads and it becomes almost impossible to reproduce, record and publish the music that they hear within themselves cooking right you you have a vision of how this this meal this delicious meal that will nourish those you love how it should come out and it it never quite being what you desire it to be it doesn't it doesn't matter what it is that you desire to create in the physical there has been this frustration about it never materializing um and never manifesting and this is the disconnect here is it is no failing on your part rather it is a side effect or a symptom of how far apart your spiritual consciousness and your physical body have been despite the fact that you are in your body and you are a spiritual being walking the earth there has been a gap in translation um an ineffective interface layer essentially problems in communication miscommunication between your spiritual consciousness and your physical body and this is not just you in terms of your consciousness and your body this is also the spiritual non-physical world and the spiritual physical world as an aside i don't mean to imply that non-physical consciousness is more is somehow more spiritual than physical than, than the physical material world they are each equally spiritual in their own way it is only that we typically are used to using the word spiritual to mean non-physical consciousness <laughs> And even this um, underlying assumption, if you have, if you have, have, bleh, if you have sometimes fallen into this way of thinking, thinking that the material world is less spiritual than the non-physical world, this is all has also added to this miscommunication process. But this is no one individual's failing. All of this has to do with the state of the universe and how non-physical consciousness and the physical material world have in and of themselves been learning how to 
connect, learning how to communicate, learning how to co-create, learning how to enmesh. So your struggles as one individual human to create in the physical, this is simply a reflection of the state of the state of the universe. This is this is a reflection of the state of the universe. Um, but this is starting to change thanks in large part to your unending hard work learning to understand how to and even discovering new ways, right? The, the, the universe does not really have a pre-existing template on how to merge non-physical consciousness and physical material world. You are discovering these ways as you live your lives. You are the creators of these new templates. You are the creators of these new paradigms. You are creating this as you go. Although you may have memories of having done this before, instinctive memories, energetic memories, and others have done this before you, you have done this before. This time, it's happening on a different level, with a different degree of intensity, and with a much, much more accelerated rate of speed. So it's very different this time. And that is why it is m most important for you to focus on discovering and creating new processes, new experiences, new ways of merging non-physical and physical states of energy, merging the two states of energy into a new co-creative process It is most important for you to focus on discovering this as if it is for the first time, rather than trying to duplicate or replicate what you have done before or what others have done before. Because there is enough about your unique situation that is unique to you and unique to your planet. There is enough that is unique and special here that this is essentially being done for the first time. How often do you have something to say and when you open your mouth or when you pick up the pen, it's never, no matter how hard you try to articulate yourself, it is never quite exactly what you wanted to say. When you're speaking, communicating in conversation with others, how often do you feel like you fully articulated your meaning and how often do you feel that your meaning was fully understood and vice versa. How often do you feel that the other person is fully articulating their meaning and how often do you feel like you fully understand what they are saying? Probably not often. This is going to start to shift with all of your <laughs> all of your creative projects, all of your communicative endeavors, because all of your creation is communication in this sense. Creation is communication because to create in the way that you are creating, you are learning to get your, your non-physical consciousness and your physical body, you are learning to get them communicating on a new level. We're learning to get them communicating on, on a new level so that they can co-create together as one entity, as one being, as one. Your evolving experience as an artistic creator or as a craftsman or as a designer in your human body and And your experience is communicating with others on an ever-increasingly more clear and authentic level. These things will all continue to improve and evolve and become easier and more natural to you. You will also find yourselves... We really encourage you to open up to new ways of creating and communicating. Especially ways that you may have dismissed before. 
Example, someone who loves to cook, perhaps they only ever follow recipes because they do not feel that they could create a successful meal without following the recipe. We would encourage that person to cook without the recipe. Same thing as someone who never follows a recipe and only ever cooks through improvisation, we would encourage that person to perhaps take a cooking class and learn to follow recipes. It's not because one process is better than the other, it's because both processes have something to offer and when you have explored both sides, then you can go, oh, now I understand the pros and cons of both opposite processes and now I can create on an even higher level now that I have experienced both. Do not let a lack of perfection stop you from creating. This is one of the biggest hurdles that we see everyone, all humans. You create something and it fails to live up to your inner vision and so you stop. You feel you have failed and you stop and you go, someone else has created it more perfectly than me. You look around and you see people creating things and you feel that they have done it with much more skill and much more perfection. This is rarely the case because you only see the, the product that they have created. You do not see their inner vision. You do not necessarily understand how perhaps their creative product is, is not, does not live up to their inner vision either, right? So all, all of you are creating more effectively than you give yourselves credit for. And this habit of giving up because what you have created does not seem to be perfect is the single most significant habit that is holding you back as a creator being. All of this up-leveling that is happening with your creativity, your creative production, and your communication abilities, this is the human level reflection of the evolution of your consciousness, the expansion of your consciousness, and how more and more and more of your consciousness is flowing into your physical vessel and learning to actually drive your vessel, how to operate your vessel. Imagine that your body is a, is a very, very, very complicated vehicle that you need to learn how to operate. It's far beyond anything that you, you could possibly imagine with the term vehicle. Your human vessel is its operation, the, the operation of your human vessel from the point of view of your consciousness is infinitely complex, so much more complex than anyone in a human body can fully conceptualize. And this is why imperfection in, in the creative process and perceived imperfection in human life, why none of these things are ever failings, it is in fact an astonishing miracle that anyone is operating their physical vessel to, with any degree of staying alive, <laughs> to, operating the human vessel is the greatest challenge your soul has ever embarked upon. Operating your human vessel is the greatest challenge your soul has ever embarked upon. Simply staying alive on your planet is an accomplishment far and beyond anything your soul could ever have imagined. 
if you manage to find moments of joy and happiness and beauty in this life, that is an astonishing achievement. If you manage to create art or beauty or self-expression, if you manage to communicate with another human being or with a non-human animal or with a plant, that is an astonishing accomplishment. If you manage to dress with dress your dress your body with joy to decorate your home in a way that makes you feel good if you manage to cook a meal that is delicious and nourishing these are all accomplishments that take the breath away from the universe as we watch you accomplish these things while operating a, a physical vessel that is almost impossible to pilot. It is almost impossible to pilot. And yet you are doing it with flying colors and with a level of success that you never give yourself enough credit for, ever. It is time to pat yourself on the back for everything that you accomplish every single day. If you have been frustrated that you have not been able to manifest, materialize, or create, or experience change in the way that you have desired, it is okay to relax and to wait and to remember that pushing forward in the physical In the old way of operating, where you, you work and you put your nose to the grindstone and you practice and you work and you work and you work and you push and you push and you push. Although you can find success with that strategy. That strategy is phasing out and it is going to become less and less and less part of your creative process because the real way forward with your process of creation for whatever it is that you want to create is going to stem from the merging of your consciousness with your physical vessel on a deeper and deeper and deeper level. With higher levels of your consciousness learning to operate your physical body, you will naturally, effortlessly, and very, very surprisingly find yourself trying something new and having success at it. Trying something old in a new way and suddenly understanding as if overnight a new way about how you, how you can do this and how it can be so much easier than you ever, ever thought it was. And why did you ever make it so difficult? And why did you ever overthink this so much? Well, why can't you just allow yourself to just, to just create, to just create, to just be and to just create without the sense of pressure and the fears of failure that have sometimes plagued you in the past. If your process of creation has felt held up, it's because it has simply been waiting for your... for your spiritual upgrade, for more of your consciousness to come into your body because many of the things that you know are within you and that you know you can manifest and that you know are possible and that you know you can achieve, they will naturally 
flow into your experience once more of your consciousness is operating your physical vessel. That's the key. That's always the key. Um, your, your human programming has taught you that we're working hard and working small and, and working away and chipping away in the physical realm, that that is how you move forward. But really, it's you're no longer moving forward in this linear, small, grounded way. You're now making great leaps and bounds. So when you have these moments where more of your own consciousness flows into your body, that is the key. That is the key. That is when everything changes. That is when everything shifts for you. That's when everything just sudden, suddenly, <laughs> suddenly you just see things differently and suddenly you can just do things a little bit differently and suddenly things start coming together for you. You will all have different experiences of how your consciousness flows into your body. Some of you who are ready and some of you who are asking for it will have rapid, rapid overnight downloads of your higher consciousness into your body where the, the shift and the change can be very sudden and very visible and very noticeable and very obvious. Others of you who are on a more gradual spiral path will have this expansion happen this slowly, slowly with every breath as you unfold and as you expand. Know that you are on the journey that is that is for you. You're on the journey that is for you. But the answer to how do you create? How do you receive? How do you accomplish? How do you make the change? The answer to all of those questions is only ever to allow more of your own consciousness into your body. to allow higher levels of your own consciousness, of your own self into your body and to allow your own higher self, your own oversoul to pilot your body. And this does not feel like a... This, this is no, no threat to the human self because th there is no part of you that is leaving and there is no part of you that is giving up control. This is simply... A growth process just as you went from being a child to a teenager to an adult and yes you grew and evolved and you changed but nothing was ever really lost nothing was ever really lost you just became more of yourself and maybe you learned to express yourself differently and you reorganized who you were but nothing has ever been lost the same thing with this growth of your consciousness it, it, it is your own self returning to you and flowing into your body in unique ways for everyone. And this is never of any threat to the, to the human self because the human self, the human ego, the human mind does remain, does remain. And you will feel like you have simply become more of who you really are, more of who you really are. I am so much more of myself than I was yesterday. I am so much more of myself than I was last year. I am so much more of myself than I was 10 years ago. These are the things you're going to start feeling. I am so much more of myself. And now that I am so much more of myself, life gets a little bit easier. The challenges don't stop, don't go away, but the challenges change and they become less about survival and more about how can you fully realize your creative potential? You're moving from a space of survival challenge to creative challenge. You used to struggle to survive and wonder, how do I survive? Now that more and more and more of your own consciousness is flowing into your body, and now that more and more and more of your higher consciousness is piloting and creating with your human vessel, your life's challenges become how can I create even more? How can I create in a way that reflects my divine vision even more? And 
these can represent significant challenges, but they are no longer challenges that need to have any time pressure. They are, they're not challenges that should cause stress. There, there is no stress involved. There is no pressure involved. It is simply being lost in the vortex of creation and lost in going, what do I want to create now? How can I create this even better next time? How can I create this with more joy? How can I find a creative process that I do simply for the joy of doing it? And the outcomes become, oh, look at what I created. That was really cool. Look what I created. That was really cool. And you can see all of the things you have created and they just you give birth to, birth to them with joy and with non-attachment because you will simply create more and more and more because the joy becomes the process of creation, the experience of creation, the experience of creation instead of any one individual thing that you have created. Delight, delight. Sparrows in spring grass. The sparrow gains its power from its numbers. In clusters, sparrows eat and forage and predators are distracted and deterred, even intimidated by their numbers. Security and joy in numbers is a lesson of the sparrow. Within their community, sparrows are always busy living life fully. Many cultures align the meaning of the sparrow with joy, and in the Middle Ages, the sparrow was thought to relieve suffering, help one triumph over hardships, and bring joy. The sacred landscape wants you to know. Delight is expanding in your life. Clap your hands with glee, spend time with others, go to a community gathering, host a party. The joy you experience will give birth to immense creativity and your life will blossom. Share your happiness and elation with others and it will grow by leaps and bounds. This isn't the time to be serious or buckle down and get to work. This is the time to be spontaneous and madcap. Do not make hard and fast commitments. Don't sign any legal documents or make any pledges right now. Don't make any promises or you might not be able to keep them. Give yourself permission to have fun, lots of fun, especially in community with others.